Hello everyone and welcome to Health 101. Today I will show you the advantages to one of the core principles that we use in TMS FNC Cloud Pack and TMS FNC Maps with regards to the responsiveness. For some users this might seem like a difficulty as we Delphi developers are used to the synchronous behavior of our applications, for example with dialogues when you are waiting for a response to execute follow-up code. But TMS FNC Cloud Pack has its own threads that makes the application more fluent. Let me show you an example with TMS FNC Cloud Google Drive. Now let's place a Google Drive component on the form. Don't forget to fill in your credentials as the first thing that we're going to do is to connect to the service for the authentication. And this is already with a synchronous behavior as the unconnected event will let us know if this has happened. Immediately we'll do the get folder list. This will retrieve all of the items that are in our account. And once this request has been handled and we've retrieved the response, the on get folder list event will be triggered. And here we will fill in a list box with the different items that we have. So even for these type of calls, it can already have an effect on the responsiveness as the application isn't frozen if the server takes a long time to respond. And this isn't only useful with a slow server, but also requests that take some time. For example, the donut that I'm now just adding. And we also add a check uh, the progress bar to check on the progress. So another feature that comes with the asynchronous is that you can do multiple requests at the same time. For example, start multiple donuts or with Google Maps to retrieve multiple locations. Now let's show you that this works. So first we'll authenticate and once we are connected, it will immediately retrieve the folder list. So I'll choose a movie that takes a long time to download. And once we are downloading, I'll show you a message, but this doesn't stop the progress from running and we can even still interact with the controls. If you are using the cloud based component, you can define your own callback, even as an asynchronous method. I already did this in another video, so I'll leave a link to that video in the description. And I hope that you now see the advantages to our asynchronous behavior. Thank you for watching. Till next time.